today I'm in the JCV loader and chopping beef. We don't usually chop or wash or do anything with the beef for this man, we just pull it and leave it in his yard. So we pulled this beef three or four weeks ago for this man and put it in his yard and he's decided that because I suppose of the beef being pulled a bit later than normal and because of the stones maybe being in it with the new machine we have that he's getting us to chop it and he's going to soil it in a pit we have a man that gets the beef chopped and uh, buys the beef off us and gets it chopped and it soils it every year so he can feed beef round and he uses beef pulp as far as I know, for insulin and beef, all you need is just something that's absorbent, that'll absorb the moisture or the juices that come off the beef when it ferments. So, this man has just drawn up one load to us and he's coming with another load. So, when he comes, I'll fill him with chop stuff and we'll chop the other load while he's away tipping. Um, I'm not sure what I'm not sure what he's gonna chop it in or in soil it in um, but so what we're doing here is first of all we're running the beat through the screener with the picking table on it so there's two men in the screener picking the beat, picking out any stones and then it goes into the washer and it gets washed and then on the end of the washer there's the chopper.
container and then there's four or five buckets to go in. There's four or five buckets to go into the trailer of chopped beef and then the last full bucket here now. Um, I have a bit of scraping up to get just a few bits along the wall to scrape up and then that will be it so thanks for watching the video and hope you enjoyed